The U.S. Department of Agriculture tells an animal rescue operation in the metro to make changes. Thanks for joining us. I'm Julie Cornell. I'm Rob McCartney. Scattered Joy Acres offers families the chance to see alpacas, cows, even kangaroos up close. But earlier this year, the USDA issued the rescue a warning about its veterinary care. KETV Newswatch 7 investigator Joey Safchik asked Scattered Joy Acres how they're avoiding any future issues. Joey. Rob, Julie, when Scatter Joy Acres opened their new zoo in Cass County, the Department of Agriculture stopped by. They didn't find any critical violations, but they did have a few concerns, notable enough to issue a warning. The pigs at Scatter Joy Acres seem to enjoy some shut eye and a pot belly rub. <laughs> but in May, the U.S. Department of Agriculture issued a warning alleging Scatter Joy violated federal law by not providing adequate veterinary care, noting overgrown hooves on two of these hogs. I have no problem with them coming out and doing their job. Usually everything is fine here, and we we take care of the animals. That's why they're here. The animal inspector also found expired medications and had concerns about the lack of identification on 20 adult cats. We're only human. Everybody makes mistakes. Do you have the resources to follow all of those protocols? Uh, within our means, yes, we don't always have the resources or the funding to be able to make things flow like some of the other larger zoos do. Because Scatterjoy opens their pens for petting, Howdy. they have a zoo license. National zoos have dozens of people on staff. How many do you have? Uh, we have five on staff. Executive Director Joy Bartling had three days to tidy up, trim the hooves, and toss the meds. Which she did, passing inspection and reopening for petting and play. We care here and we make a difference in people's lives. Bartling says the warning gives her food for thought. What did you learn from that violation warning? Um, I need to have more hours in my day to be able to get all the work done. And at the end of the long day, she's glad there are watchful eyes keeping the animals safe. Although she says she needs more helping hands. Not enough hours in the day, but I wouldn't change what I do. I love what I do. Joy Bartling says she really needs more people power, including volunteers to make sure things don't fall through the cracks, especially, she says, so they can keep providing animal therapy. We'll have a link where you can learn more on KETV.com. Rob, Julie. Volunteers needed. Thanks, Joey.